Welcome back. A Georgia state legislator from Atlanta switching from the Democrat Party to the Republican Party after being at odds with Democrats for her support over school vouchers and disciplining prosecutors. Representative Misha Maynard becomes the only black member of the GOP among Georgia's 236 state lawmakers and the first black Republican woman to ever serve in the Georgia General Assembly. We welcome Georgia State Representative Misha Maynard. Thank you so much for being here, we appreciate it. Um, state Rep, what, you said that the, the legislative Democrats, they drove you out of the party for breaking party orthodoxy, claiming, quote, they relentlessly tried to sabotage every single thing that you've done in District 56 and slandered the, it, publicly, and they slandered you in any a way man, imaginable. Uh, so it, was this the decision? It was, it was the last straw. It's time to, to move away from this party. Definitely last straw, and this was not something that just happened. So I was elected in 2020, um, walked through the Capitol doors in 2021, and from the very beginning, it did not matter what I did. From I passed a bill that created something called the Fulton Technology and Energy Authority, which is a workforce development um, arm to help people just in marginalized communities, and they tried to sabotage that. Um, Recently, I just passed a bill to help the historically black colleges in my district. They tried to sabotage that. And so there's a there's a malalignment on their values with the African-American community. Hmm. We know that education is such a powerful tool to achieve success in life. And for kids, the opportunity to go to charter schools or private schools through school vouchers could be seen as a really positive opportunity. At least that's what folks in the Republican Party have advocated for. And that was something that your Democratic colleagues at the time seemed to take issue with. Uh, they were not a fan with that viewpoint. Was that also a decision uh, making factor as to why you made the switch? Absolutely. Um, district 56 has the most charter schools than any other district in the entire state of Georgia. Um, we have the most charter schools because parents are fed up with schools that are not meeting their child's needs. Um, in my district, there are schools with as low as 2% math proficiency, 3% reading proficiency. So that basically means the entire school cannot read or perform simple math and the parents have chosen charter schools instead. This is not an attack on public schools or teachers, but it, what, what it is saying is that you're not providing for us and we deserve something else. Um, and so that's what I support. I support my community. I want to get to this. Um, this is the uh, Republican Party chairman, Josh McCoon. He said this in the, about the switch. Uh, her move shows that the Republican Party is where diversity of opinion is welcome, where different ideas, uh, talking about different policy ideas and solutions together is a strength, not a weakness. We can disagree, but still come together on the things that, uh, that matter most to us. Uh, do you feel where you, you, you're in the right area now, where you belong? Do you feel you, you have that support? So might be a little bit TMI, but I went to the doctor yesterday for my annual and my blood pressure was 115 over 67. <laughs> and so I say that to say, I feel so much better um, since I've switched parties, the stress, the weight has been lifted off of my shoulders because one, I can't, I'm not no longer being attacked, right? And so if you look at, there are people in the Republican Party this past session that did not vote for school choice. Those Republicans were not ambushed. Their colleagues did not put thousand dollar checks up because they did not vote for school choice. Me, I voted for school choice. My colleagues put $1,000 checks up for people to run against me. Wow. So yes, the Republican Party, they have a, they're more open to a diversity opinion. Sure. Yeah, and clearly, you know, you might not agree with everything of your now Republican colleagues. Um, there's there's a lot of, of different nuances when it comes to certain laws or how you approach uh, situations. We're all diverse people and we all have different viewpoints, but the fact that you can come to the table and have civil conversations, uh, that seems like a good place to start. We'll be watching your career. Thanks so much for coming on today. Uh, Misha Maynard, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You. Take care.